you take a relaxing trip here on the Green River, you can do one of four different tubing locations. This one here, Living Waters Tubing. You know, it's a little bit adventurous. The water level's a little high. Many agree the Green River isn't lazy. And Living Waters co-owners Rick and Lori Henderson say that that's what makes tubing here fun. This is what they call Big Corky. And on the lower end where people tube, there's a big corky and little corky below us. This is a class two rapid. The one down is a class one rapid. Since you're outdoors, social distancing is easier. <laughs> and for just $10, you can float down the river up to six hours. Lori says the water can be soothing, filled with wonders of nature and calming sounds. It's one of the reasons they're called living waters. When you're upset, just get in the water, and that takes all fears away and all anxieties away. Ruvim and his friends say tubing for this year's annual outdoor guys trip was an easy choice. You know, there's relaxing parts where you can just float and talk, and then there's you know fast-paced parts where there's rapids that are you know give you a little adrenaline and it's fun. You get, you know, best of both worlds. Rick says all four tubing businesses along the river are great and everyone is welcome. You can come down and tube, you can come down to the beach, you can get ice cream, you can get some food, drinks. Basically, you're in whatever you want to do. Once you're done, hit the beach, dry off by the fire, and then grab your mask and head into downtown where Thompson store and Ward's grill owner, Clark Thompson, says souvenirs and history about the oldest grocery store in North Carolina await. History is something that should be preserved. And to say that you're the oldest grocery store in the entire state, that's quite a statement. Now don't assume because it's old that this store is lacking. Well, a lot of it is local, and especially the uh, honey, the jellies and jams and stuff like that. And beers, hats, and coffee mugs. They have quite a bit. As a boy, Clark grew up in his family store, which started back in the 1890s. But as time went on, it was sold and then briefly closed. Clark came back 11 years ago and reopened it. It's good to see it stocked and, and as lively as it is. You can even taste some of the foods, like Charlie's famous sausage right next door. The Ward's Grill 1950s menu serves goose liver and oyster stew. Not so much now. But the food still comes highly recommended, especially... Greasy cheeseburger. <laughs> so with your mask on, you can take it off, of course, once you're outside, but you can grab a bite to eat and go shopping. And there's tons more to do here in Saluda, North Carolina. Tatiana Cash, Destination Vacation.